Um, I'm pretty sure once I get out of, once I'm an adult and I'm on my own, that a lot of the issues that are against me won't be there anymore. Secret message communicated to most young people today by society around them is that they are not needed. That society will run itself quite nicely until they, at some distant point in the future, will take over the reins. Yet the fact is that society is not running itself nicely. We're getting more and more divided like every single day. Because the rest of us need all the energy, brains, imagination, and talent the young people can bring to bear down on the difficulties for society to attempt to solve its desperate problems without the full participation of even very young people is imbecile. What do you see in us? Skin? Race? Faces? Or do you just see a teenager who throws his life away? You think we might sway, but you have no idea who we are. Maybe just think about how far. We are the future. We are a must. Hold on. Look what you left us. In a way, we're, we're kind of screwed. You know, basically to me, I feel if you're not going to be rich in this country, it's going to be really hard to, to get through everything like that you have to deal with in life as an adult. I know a lot of our money and funding goes to the army out of taxes. And um, if the war continues, that might increase. If I stay aware about global warming and the war in Iraq, it's making me stronger for, for myself to be an adult, to be more open-minded and be more aware of what's going on in the world. So. When the rich are getting richer in this country and the poor are getting poorer, um, you know, more kids are going to college, but now you need to go to college, so everyone who doesn't get to go to college, you know, you're screwed, man. You're going to be working at a gas station or, like, whatever for the rest of your life, like hard manual labor with no respect. And there are other kids who don't necessarily fit into the way our system works, and they, are, they fall out of that system, and then they're labeled as society as not being successful. It's that, like, that black and white type of looking at things. When it, uh, when it ended, they just had all these bombs going off all over the place. It was dark, and, and they had bombs, like, blowing up all over the place. And you hear people shouting and people yelling. You feel like the foreigners from Iraq, you hear them shouting and yelling, and you're just thinking about how many people are dying in that, like, one second of war that just happened that you watched on TV. Hey, I, th I thought it was straight BS. We had, uh, it was all those weeks, of, uh, months of speculation that uh, Saddam Hussein has weapons of mass destruction. Come on now, five years later, have we found one nuclear weapon? No. And I remember asking my dad if he thought it'd be World War III, and he said, you know, he doesn't know. And that right there, because my dad, he knew a lot about the war and what was going on and politics, and he knows a lot about that. And the fact that he didn't know really, you know, struck me and um, made me want to pay a little more attention to what's going on. Right now, one of the biggest issues is, is jobs for young people, and then, but not just for teenagers or people who are still in school, but then once people are graduating from high school or going on to college, um, or even graduating from college, that there's just not those jobs there, and so people are, are kind of like just hanging out and, and that's where we're ending up with a lot of a lot of the crime. I think is coming out of that. You ain't really expecting to, you know, really have to pay bills or really have to, you know, get a job and keep a job to be able to survive. So I mean, minimum wage is, you know, a couple dollars more than a loaf of bread now, or you know, a gallon of milk. So I just think that whole economy issue, you know, if it's still the same, definitely affect you know future generations. We're just getting divided, and we're not really trying to to address those problems, you know. I mean, we're trying to, to say that they're gone or we're trying to pretend that they don't exist, but, but we're really not addressing the problems as they exist. Not feeling like they can do things like buy houses and so that, you know, that 
keeps on affecting other parts of the economy. Um, I think there's those things. I also think that we're just living in a world that's becoming more and more divided, and um, you know, people are are spending less and less time actually communicating with each other, and they're not going outside. They're not meeting their neighbors. People would rather sit around and complain about their neighbors than go talk to them. Um, so I think that, like, I mean, just those kinds of things are things that are going to be left for for young people today to really start figuring out how do we start really making these connections again and and becoming a a more cohesive society because at this point I think I see us getting more and more fractured. This is the world you left to us, right? Big homes, big cars, great families playing at the park as they grow up, go to high school, go to college, and have a great life, living the American dream with no problems, right? No, it's not. Sadly, it's not. And there's nothing we can do about it. Our world that we're coming to right now sounds of a terrible economy, corruption, bad education, bad health care, and worst of all, a thing called global warming that could tear our whole world apart. And there's nothing we can do about it. Wrong. There is something we can do about it. The future is coming to us now. We have to take advantage of it. We have to work towards a better future or we're screwed.